thank you for coming together today to mark the 6th of March, which is an international day of protest against the Iranian government's illegal kidnapping and imprisonment of trade unionists in that country. Today we kick off an international day of protest, a wave of recognition of trade union rights, which will tell the Iranian government that it's unacceptable to imprison trade union leaders, trade union representatives, merely for trying to represent their workers' needs. We've got a government in Canberra now and a Minister for Foreign Affairs that has got the confidence, has got the courage, has got the political nous and the determination and the principle and the morals to come out and stand for Mansur. Stephen wishes the rally best success. He says specifically, the Australian government is fully committed to the core international labour standards enshrined in the International Labour Organisation's 1998 Declaration on Fundamental Principles and Right at Work. Mansour went overseas. He's just a bus driver, just a worker. He wants to get a fair deal for his family. He's a family man who lives in very humble circumstances. He's not a politician. He thought by organising bus drivers he was ex 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 exercising what were and Stephen Smith identifies to be his human and international rights. He went outside the country, he started to bring together support, international support for the struggle of those 17,000 workers and when he went back to Tehran he was kidnapped off the streets by the Security Council, spirited away. We didn't know where he was for a number of weeks. When we were able to track him down inside the infamous Evan prison, there he was with his face smashed in, his tongue cut to, dis to disavow him of making any more public comment and his ability to be able to communicate absolutely curtailed. The RTBU is honoured and it's proud to participate. We're an affiliate of the ITF. We are a union that covers bus drivers. Had Mansour Osinlu been in this country, it was said he would be a member of ours. And we are an organisation committed to the advancement of human rights, um, whether they be national, international, individual or collective. And that is one of the reasons why we today, with a number of other unions throughout the ITF, are holding this rally and rallies throughout, um, at last count, some 40 countries. The pressing situation faced by individuals such as Mesut Osunlu and Mohamed Sakli, pronunciation, but, and many other just like them is grossly unjust and demands scrutiny from governments and individuals like ourselves around the world. Amnesty International is deeply concerned with the Iranian government's non-compliance with international labour conventions and UN Declaration of Human Rights. I said this is a marvellous day for Iranian workers to have their colleagues, their Australian colleagues taking to their street, supporting them. This is not a campaign for one day for one week or one month. This is a campaign for however long it takes to free Mansour.